sled is being pulled with a, along a horizontal surface by a 85 newton force directed 15 degrees above the horizontal. If the coefficient of friction is 0.12, what's the acceleration of the sled? Well, to do these types of problems, start off with a free body diagram, which will include the force of gravity, the normal force, the applied force, and the force of friction. Now, we'll calculate each of those forces, but first we'll um, break up the applied force into uh, vertical and horizontal components. So, the applied force is at a 15 degree angle. So we can say that the FAX, the horizontal part of the applied force, is the magnitude of the applied force times cos of 15 degrees. So the magnitude of the horizontal component of the applied force is 82 newtons. The vertical component of the, hor of the applied force is Fa sine theta, or 22 newtons. The next force that's easy to calculate is the force of gravity, which is simply the magnitude of the force of gravity is mg, which is 45 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, giving us 441 newtons. A common error in these types of problems is to assume that the normal force will be equal to the magnitude of the force of gravity. That's incorrect, because the applied force partially supports the weight of the sled. In this case, the applied force supports 22 newtons of the weight of the sled. So, it's the normal force plus the vertical part of the applied force that add up to the force of gravity. So the normal force is actually the weight of the object minus 22 newtons, so the normal force is 419 newtons. Once we have the normal force, we can calculate the force of friction, which is has a magnitude of mu times uh, the normal force, giving us 50.3 newtons of friction. With this information, we can find the net force in the horizontal direction, which is the horizontal part of the applied force minus the magnitude of the force of friction. Or we have a net force of 31.7 newtons. The acceleration is simply the net force divided by the mass. The net force, we know intuitively, is going to be horizontal. So the acceleration will be 31.7 newtons divided by 45 kilograms, or 0.70 meters per second squared.